for me, art is a language. And so I think discovering art was very useful, maybe therapeutic, because it has allowed me to express my identity in a way that matches the complexity of my cultural experience. I think art is also a way to make my ancestors proud. All the trees are much bigger now. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. I grew up in the Nooksack tribal community. A long time ago, Uncle John told me, our whole family is known for working with their hands. Uncle John makes these amazing cedar strip racing canoes. This is what the canoes start out as right here. Yeah, yeah, we these saw. Little strips here. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. You see the lines on these things and they're just incredibly beautiful and you can tell the craftsmanship that goes into them. Art is an integral part of Native communities. It's not really separated from culture or daily lives. Like, the things that we put art on are utilitarian. But there was very little business opportunity for Native artists. One of the barriers is the fact that the market is already saturated with products that feature Native aesthetic. It's just that those products are not created by Native-owned companies. That's how 8th Generation was born. As a beautiful retail shop, Eighth Generation was really the first of its kind. We work exclusively with Native artists who are well equipped to tell a three-dimensional story about the communities that they're from. It's art that represents the diversity of aesthetics in the Native community. So this right here, I really hadn't seen anybody do before. So it's your own innovation? I wouldn't say it's my own innovation. It's ancestral knowledge coming forward. Mm -hmm. I'm here as a conduit. It's a powerful role to play in life, I think, yeah. My goal was to create opportunities for Native artists who for centuries were excluded from participating in markets like wool blankets. The result is tens of millions of dollars being redirected from non-Native companies that were dominating the market for cultural art towards Native artists and Native-owned companies. Now, our ownership is the Snoqualmie tribe and 75% of the staff is Native. And I think that's super important because we're reclaiming the power to affirm our own identity. As a Native person, identity is everything to me. The more true we can be about our identity, the more consumers can make values-based decisions to support Native-owned businesses, and thereby strengthen the actual stewards of the cultural art and the cultural stories that they want to align with.